That's interesting. Big man Satoru, but not of many roles. Again, they're already Yeah, I mean, he. I, I was on his Twitter now. He's a, he's like a voice actor, which he was. Yes. Actor. Yes. And apparently now he's a commentator. I've also heard this. Yeah. But he did do uh, desk. Oh, hello. Uh, he did do some um, some desk work actually with me and Nightfire for Onward at Oculus Connect Five. No, sorry. He did observing. There we go. Oh, yeah. Also observer. You can add that to his Twitter. Oh, that's true. That's he, the does, he does do good voices. He does really good voices. Yeah. Good accents. I'll give him that. We'll have to try to get those out of him if he, uh, if he actually makes it through and they do make their way towards the finals. Obviously, they're in that close qualifier. This one is just for fun. Essentially, Gravity being that only, uh, well, the only qualified team from Europe currently is accurate, isn't it? Yeah, qualified to play. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, you're, he's also replacing like Aventura, and Aventura is like the best goalie in the game. Um, but again, like you said, it's more of like a game for fun here, more of like filling each other out, obviously going into um, the close qualifiers, but technically they shouldn't be meeting each other if uh, the seeding is correct in the way things are set up at the moment. So just more of like a show off between teams and who wants to take home the, you know, 400 bucks. Yeah, I suppose this one's just for the piggy bank, isn't it? You know, it's just for the, the fun bucks, the extra bit of money that you can yeah. flash when you do get I mean, to Leicester. Or if you're off in terror, it's probably like pizza money. Yeah? Yeah. You a big fan of the slice? Uh, he's just a big man. Big man. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he's like a big teddy bear. Oh. He's a really nice guy. Very cuddly. Really nice guy. Yeah, very cuddly. Wow. It's just like you, Jason. I can be. You can be quite cuddly. You're quite snuggly. But let's see if this one is going to be a snuggle fest. Probably not a snore fest, as it's already kicking off. With another goal being picked up, tied up 2-2. They're able to instantly get that response there and keep this game close. Already a minute burnt through, though. So the Egg Boys, not as rapid as they were into their previous debacle. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying before, like this Ec Arena is a very unique game in terms of when you have a really good team and a really bad team meet each other, it actually can make the game way longer than a standard game. When you have two evenly matched teams is when typically you'll see it actually run around five minutes because um, of the time allotted, because they obviously will spend more time trying to score against each other than just freely scoring overall. Aventura is also the quarterback um, for Gravity, so I'm curious to see if Tutorial Bot will fill that role completely or if they'll switch things up. But again, you have Boop and Lone Gecko, who are previously teammates on Blast last season. So now they're enemies here, or maybe frenemies, hopefully. And that's an inside shot that Maddie should ideally not hit. I'll tell you right now. Okay, I'm friends with Tutorial Bot, so I'm not being a, a dick to him. Go on. Aventura would have blocked that. Yeah? Aventura would have did it, Tutorial Bot. Wow. Okay, strong work. Steffi, take goalie out of your, uh, your Twitter profile. <laughs> so, commentator, actor, voice actor, observer. observer. Not goalie. Not goalie. Not goalie. No, not goalie. But to be fair to him, he's actually been filling like a lot of roles. He's been playing Echo Arena now with Gravity. He's been filling in for a lot of Echo Combat teams as well as like a substitute. He's not even necessarily on any team unless that's recently changed. He's been kind of a man of all traits. He's been looking good as well. He does look fantastic in person. I agree. Oh, yeah? Even outside. Oh, is that what you meant? No, no, no. I meant, oh. yeah, he was looking fabulous when we actually did see him uh, play before in Echo Combat. But if he's looking good outside the server, that's not a benefit. I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while. No? Since like September of last year. Maybe the form's dropped off. Or maybe it's gotten better. Could do. Could do. See? Now I'm glass half full and you're glass half empty. That's kind of our dynamic. We rotate on the daily, didn't we? Mm. Depends how we feel. Ooh. Well, that one is going to be feeling very nice for Lone Gecko. Another two points picked up. Yeah, so Gravity gets it, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Lone Gecko kind of, kind of scored on himself. He yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. like bounced off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, yeah. It was accidental. It happens. These things happen. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be tied up, like I said, four apiece. Now Egg Boy's going to on the joust advantage. Lone Gecko probably going to be the one playing quarterback as he was before. Him and Maddie, I think, switched up every once in a while. But I'm curious, like, yeah, again, it's more of a fun match, but I'm curious if any team can battle out against the best of NA. Like, again, Eclipse was the best team, mm -hmm. but defending champions two years running at Oculus Connect. Um, but they're not doing so well this season. I don't know why. Actually, I should probably ask Palador about that uh, when I have some time. Uh, or Lemmy, just to figure out what's going on within their team because they're struggling. Like, Kangorilla's just come out of kind of nowhere. And we did we did also get a nice little picture tweeted to us. We did. We were asking, like, is the top the Kangorilla or the top the Gorilla and the bomb the, ca the, the Kangaroo? Yeah. We got our answer. It's both. They're just meshed into one. It's all just one big Kangorilla hybrid, yep. which is, um, you know, it makes sense off the back of the name. That was nice, though. You actually see that tweeted in. It was uh, a good explanation. It was. I was, I was quite happy when I saw that one on the way home. Two minutes and 35 seconds left to go here. Control still going to be in hands of Gravity's Now Viatrex looking to pull in some defenders. Like I was saying before, though, I'm curious to see if anyone can battle against Eclipse if Eclipse are going to be back to their original form because the original Gravity almost beat them in Leicester. 
uh, when we were doing Echo Arena. Mm. Um, they got them into the finals, and they came from the lower bracket, so they had to win two best of fives against them. They won the first best of five in like a 3-0. Well, that was a nice little ding there. Was... And then the second one, they were up like two maps to zero in like the finals, I think it was, or two, two or one to zero. And then there was a technical issue, and Eclipse came back next three maps straight and won. So there, we, there was potential dethroning there, but it didn't happen. And when we came in Office Connect 5, it was just heavily in favor of Eclipse. That would be crazy as well, because, I mean, obviously at that point, it's the fact that in terms of the overall championship titles that they hold, this is sort of the big one, really. If you can go on to claim all three of them in a trot like that and actually prove you are pretty much the unstoppable force inside of Echo Arena, uh, you know, you would like to, ideally. Gravity taking the lead now, though, with another two points picked up off Fire Trex, just to put them slightly ahead of Egg Boys. A ton of time being burnt off the clock here, though. Only minute 41 left. Yeah, so like we are saying before, you know, when it's, when it's evenly matched teams, time to stuff definitely go quicker. Last little note by, by uh, Audi Clips, by the way, because um, the first season finals, they had I shining the team instead of Simeon. And then he went on to go play Overwatch. And I think he's currently coaching a team in Overwatch still. So I don't know if he's going to be there again because he was there last year to help them out. He was kind of coaching them. Maybe that's something that's been really allowing them to be so successful as they were before. So we'll see if he's going to be at the the next one if they do qualify, obviously. Um, but in the meantime, like I said before, a minute three left to go. Not a lot of time left. Gravity with the lead at six to four, but it's just two points. So they're not going to go for the stall game, I would assume. They're definitely going to be looking for another, you know, another bucket on the board to really keep that lead and to take it into a two possession game or two score game. Yeah, at least push it somewhat further because obviously Egg Boys, it, it wouldn't take much if they're able to just respond. What's, what's I just realized I can use all these sports terms that you have no idea about. I know, I'm not. I'm so not. Like a two possession game, it means they have to score twice to tie or take the lead. I guess that one. So if they, if they take two points, they'll take it up to a four point lead. So they have to make a three pointer and a two-pointer or a two two-pointers to tie things up. So basically you can let them score once and then you have technically a lot of time you can use because you have possession of the disc. This is nice. It's like you're you're my father <laughs> taking me out to the ball game. You want, you want to play some catch after this? I would. I'd love that. At least you're not saying someone slam dunks from the from the, the from the bubble here because that's something blue. That's, that's a blue move, right? That was a blue move. And the alley-oop, which it was just basically... Alley he Yeah, he just shot it like it didn't alley-oop to anyone. Just like we saw Gravity pick another two points here. So now with that two possession game we were talking about before, yep, three yep. seconds left. So ideally, you maintain them at a two-point score here, if anything, if they are going to score against you. Um, and then you can just stop for time. So it's right now, Egg Boys, they're, they're, or sorry, Gravity's goal should be drag as much time off the board as we can, off the clock. Yeah. Bear in mind as well, I mean, it's sort of, as we've touched on with this, this result kind of essentially no overall, because Gravity, they're already through. It doesn't really affect things too much because they're that first place team, Egg Boys. I don't even think statistically if they would have taken this, would have had enough points to overtake. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, it would have been the same result anyway, but yeah. like, I, mean, they, I don't think it was possible. Yeah, because there's no, there's no prize money, I believe, at the end of each stage. It's just being you pushed into the playoffs. But there is prize money at the end of each cup. Yes. So they, they could have won maybe 400 bucks um, instead of what they'll get for whatever placing they do, you know, result in. Yeah. Um, but everyone's eyes are on the big bucks anyways, let's be honest. Yeah, it's all about that finals, right? That's the actual overall big fish. Seven seconds left now. Essentially, this is Gravity setting it in stone. They are going to take the first map and secure this one. Looking for an extra bit of the pie at the end. You know what, Jason? They get it. The three pointers with one second left. Yeah, that's, that's a Vitrex. Finesse. It's a Vitrex move. Because it was totally unnecessary. No. It was totally I mean, unnecessary. You'd won. That was it. Yeah. Game's over. <laughs> but they got it. Now, they made it work. 15, 14, you should imagine 13, trying to stat pad right now, you know? It's, yeah, that's basically what it is. 10, 9, I mean, I, I mean... Oh, there we go. So they just they ended up just leaving anyways. They just going for all right. Well, we lost. They accepted that it was. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. You know, we don't even get the big GG moment at the end because Vitrix had to take it away from us. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, if I ever talk bad about any Echo Arena players, because I, I have met them and know them, and he's a, you're a friendly man. You know, this is all part of your. This your... is how I show my affection by being mean to you. That is very. But true. I'm always nice to you. Yes, because uh, he hates me secretly. It's true. Uh, but I he loves blue. It's not secretly. It's, no, no, no. It's pretty obvious if you, if you watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You should see what he's like off there. Oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah. It's weird, right? The more lovely I am to you, the more I just like. It's, it's quite worrying. Yeah. Yeah. Keep giving me hugs whenever I walk into the studio, telling me you miss me. It, yeah, you yeah. say you look good today. <laughs> I know. That's when I knew things were going wrong. Just like that shot. Oh. Okay, good here for gravity again. Vitrex. Okay, so maybe the three pointer before at the end of the first game was just to warm up his second shot. He just wanted to get everything calculated, so we knew going yeah. straight back into it had to do some damage. And uh, a tasty three-pointer is absolutely the way to start things off. 14, 
Considering what we saw before, where Egg Boys were definitely the favoured side in terms of that aggression, being able to keep themselves composed with getting those early goals in, Gravity have taken that and made it just look like child's play, really, compared to the level of ability they have. And one thing I, I, I kind of want to mention is we're kind of, I mean, to be fair, like we're talking about, you know, Gravity and Egg Boys, like, you know, being the best teams in Europe, and it's going to be really hard to, to beat either of them to get through into the main event to the finals. Yeah. But you have to keep in mind that there's obviously season three. There's still the last chance qualifiers happy next weekend. And then, of course, season four, you know? Mm -hmm. There's still chances to, to play now, get better, participate some, against some of the best teams then into the next season, or potentially if you can just all of a sudden in a week get really good. We could see you, you know, beating some of these teams. So I don't want to discourage people from playing. You can definitely, you know, still sign up and participate, even just to get some experience and to get some scrims in and, and some practice. But, you know, these are, these are the best teams at the moment, but they're not unbeatable. Well... I mean, I suppose the way to put it would be they're the best team so far, because obviously we yep. do have that potential for new players to come in organically in terms of the league. We've tried to stress that every week. Get involved. If you've got an Oculus at home, you have a bunch of friends that are all avid Echo players, you might as well start somewhere. You could learn a lot, really. I mean, the benchmarks you'd have, say, if you get a draft against any of these teams, Egg Boys or Gravity in that Swiss format, you could learn an awful lot about where your weaknesses and strengths lie, right? And yeah, and as well as uh, if you are... Ooh, that was a nice little play right there, but Boop just steals away the disc. Going for the backboard shot, he's gonna hit it as well. All right, so like I was saying before about, you know, when there's a, a mismatch in skill of teams, it can be very long. Yeah. Um, but if you are obviously interested in the game, you do have an Oculus at home, you can check out Palador's uh, YouTube channel, P-A-L-I-D-O-R-E. We actually talks in depth about Echo Arena, and he's one of the best players in the scene. He does a really good job of trying to help teach you the game. That's something you can, uh, you know, pursue if this is something that interests you. That's probably worth it. Also follow us on Twitter now. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, obviously, if you do want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest involving the VR League, follow him on Twitter, at VR Challenger, Jason. Mm -hmm. Not you personally, but everyone else. Yeah, no, I already follow him. Of course. All right, so now we should ideally see Eggboy trying to go for some shots here. That's a nice, really nice patch, pass, actually, to Nilevic at a low gecko. Um, nice little shot there, actually catches the defender off guard. I think it was Tutorial Bot there. But if you're Gravity, like, so this is what I want to see them do. Yeah, I realize they don't have Faf and Terror here, and it's something I always gripe on teams, but I want to see them practice the stalling technique. Mm -hmm. If not now, minute and 40 left, you know, when there's like two minutes left, I want to see them practice it, because that's such an important thing to be able to do, because Eclipse is the best team in the world at doing that. They will sit there and pass it all day long because they just don't miss passes, and if they do, they're very, very rarely ever happening. And it controls the game because it forces the enemy team to play a different style they're not used to. It forces them to get extra aggressive, which will open up shots for you. Um, okay, well, there you go. Wow. See the three, be the three, Jackie. That was nice. See, this is what we need. We need these level of quips coming through. So, oh. see, the problem is it doesn't really work because I, I, can't, I can't remember what well, the... Uh, from the, downtown. You know, the good old NBA jam. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going He's more so fire. for... Um, there's, there's the George Foreman. The grill? Yeah, 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 but like George Four Man, which would be like a 4K in like a, you know, a various other title, right? I was trying to think what the equivalent would be for like a 3K or like a three pointer. But I've got enough of Three point pen? Like a ballpoint pen? Oh, maybe. No. That one was a freebie. Huh. All right. Yeah, I like that it's one. It's not terrible. Yeah. We can be nice. So what did that tell you about what I feel? just hated it. <laughs> Absolutely disgusted by what I just said. Yeah, and Gravity get a very nice clear here too. You can see number 17, Viatrex, going to be pretty much by himself. You can see the blue side trying to retreat here in time. He has a shot for a three-pointer, and he hits it 12 to 5. How does he have the lungs for that? Okay, next time we do that. We, all right. Next well, the we next three-pointer? Next three-pointer, we, we shout Both goal us, right, for as like, long, long as we, we can. can. Oh. Oh. oh, we're in sync. Oh. We need to start spending so much time together. We should, Every weekend. We should get someone to post a Twitch clip about us, you know? Oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that we're actually uh, conjoined twins. That that's like, And we finish each other's yeah. sandwiches. sandwiches. Hey! All right, we're uh, nailing it today. Okay. Anyways, three minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> don't know what's happening. Oh, this is great. It's like we're roommates. I, I hope not, because uh, my, yeah. my last roommate did something really inappropriate. Oh, sorry. I'll tell you off there. All right. Very inappropriate. Does it have to be a three-pointer for the goal? Yeah. Okay. We'll save it. High energy. I want those big lungs, big, you know, meaty goal sound coming out of you. Let's just sit up straight for this one. A, me a meaty sound. What's yeah. a meaty sound? Well, it's got a lot of oomph to it. A lot of emphasis. Can you give me an example? 
Ooh. Starting in. That's crazy. That's crazy. It comes from the I just, I, I legitimately thought you just farted. <laughs> like, I'm not lying. I, I thought you just ripped one in the studio. I'm sorry. It was, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, that was Blake. <laughs> no, he has, he, has, he has average, average, average parts. Like, that, that is true. Below average parts. Um, that was definitely beyond average. Anyways, we see now gravity with possession because Egg Boy's got a nice little two pointer through. Two minutes and about thirty seconds left to go. Another three pointer potential coming in. Well, you, uh, are you gonna do it? You didn't go. Uh, you didn't go either. Well, it's too late now. We'll have to do it the next time. Right, next time. If there's the next time. No hesitation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't let me down. Well, you let me down. Just like I know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm your ballast. I bring you down to my level. So you're like my anchor. Pretty much. But you don't keep me... So you're a helium balloon and I'm the weighted thing at the bottom. Is it, I'm a, am I the balloon because I'm really tall? Yes. Or because I'm full of hot air? <laughs> but... All right, at least we're honest with each other. 15 to seven out, two minutes and 30 seconds left. Egg boys with possession. Maddie gets a pass over to Nalvik, but the pass goes a little bit wide and now boot for the shot. Gonna get blocked out here. Nice little catch out of Lone Gecko to prevent another three pointer, but more importantly, to prevent us from screaming goal in your ears. That is true. It's gonna be quite loud, so potential damage there. Although, another two pointer picked up. Egg Boy's slowly chipping away. They're trying to get it somewhat closer, but that margin is gonna take a while, Jason. 15 to 9. Gravity's uh, ridiculous lead is absolutely inflated, much like you being a balloon. Starting in 15, That's a really rude way of calling you fat. Sorry. 12. <laughs> That's right, you're, you know, you're looking dashing. Big boned, all right? You're looking eight, <laughs> seven, it's the winter season. You've got to cultivate. It's, it's summer. summer. It's, it's summer. spring. <laughs> is it summer now? Yeah. No, it's spring still. No, it's summer, isn't it? No. Hey, did you see the weather outside? It was like nine degrees and raining. Is that summer to you? Wait, in England, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. okay, good point. Good point. That's like brilliant weather for Literally. <laughs> I expected a storm. Well, now we see Boop trying to push the uh, disc up here. He's got Viatrix off towards his side. So Torabot being the anchor for the team. Actually gonna push in a 1v1 here. Actually, Three. so you saw right there. I'm not gonna go crazy about the shot, but you did see, I think that was Viatrex punched the goalie and Boop went for the shot. And there's no way they can defend against that. That's really smart. That's what makes defending so hard if you're a newer player out there is being able to stop yourself from being hit, but at the same time be able to defend the goal. It's, it's so difficult to do. And if you have teams who are really coordinated like you just saw there, if you get the punch and the shot at the same time, they're gonna score goals on you a majority of the time. I suppose one of the factors as well in terms of obviously the defining roles, being a goalie must have so much pressure on you in terms yep. of how you have to play that. I suppose you really do have sort of a league of your own in terms of the top goalies that are out there in the scene. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, Alpha Terra is like, if we were to like break it down to tiers, yeah. he's S tier, 100%, S plus tier, like if there exists a thing. Damn, flawless. I was kind of hoping for a three pointer there. It looked like it could have been, potentially. Thing is, like, even though it was only two points, they could have made a three there. They're only six points behind now with a minute 43 left. And yeah, we look at the minute 43 like, oh, Jason, that's not a lot of time. Well, it, it's not. But the way these two teams have been playing, like technically this game's been going on for like almost 10 minutes now, it feels like. Yeah. I mean, if you bear in mind, right, if we take that previous goal as a benchmark, if that took them 15 seconds to get a goal there, the amount they could potentially score here in the space of two minutes, I'm not going to do the math. I was hoping I'm not, you, can't, I'm, you can't lead I'm, us up to that. I'm not going to do the math, but that's quite a few goals potentially they could get in, Jason. That's my color commentary for you. That was, it was great. It was a missed pass there, and actually the blue side might be able to take advantage. Hey, boys, looking Ooh. for the shot. Unfortunately, Vitrex is going to come in, bounce it off the force field, and hopefully return it towards the blue side of the arena. But in the meantime, it's going to be Maddie here to pick it up. Look for his own pass himself. Nice little catch over to Lone Gecko. He's going to pass it over to Nalvik and looking for the shot potentially back and forth between the two. Monk in the middle, and he gets it! Two points yet again. That was 25 seconds of time. Now a minute and 18 left to go. And it's only a four-point game. Yeah, this is crazy. From the position it was in, obviously, if you cast your mind back to the lead that Gravity initially had, it looked like they were pretty much just, you know, soaring ahead and they were going to close this one out. And this really has kept us going. You know, this really does hit home with the point that the more equally matched these two teams are, the longer this game is going to go on for. What happened from game one to two? Game one, many, many points at all. Oh. And now game two, it's just like everyone just was just scoring. I, their wrists are warmed up. You know, no, it's actually, it's funny because uh, one player has broken the wrist like multiple Ooh. times playing a Karina because he keeps punching the wall. Oh, right, yeah. Assume the first time you would move away from the wall, but no, no, no. Or at least put a pillow on the wall, some kind of cushion. So if you punch it, you're a little... So it look like you're in an insane asylum? Yeah, padded... Same play from an insane asylum. Do you know what? A padded cell is probably the optimum area to play virtual reality games from. 
I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> like, I, I'm being serious. You fall over, you're fine. You punch a wall, you're fine. You headbutt a wall, also fine. Why would you be headbutting a wall? Celebrations. Round okay, yeah. You never know. 15, you might want a headbang. 14, 13, yeah. 12, I'm more surprised about the fact that they've actually been able to bring 10, this back so incredibly close now. We're still pretty much a minute left on the clock as well. Hey, boys, roughly it's been about 25 seconds, you know, it's taken them to actually get these shots on goal. If they get another one in, Jason, we're looking at about a 30-second tied-up game left here. Potentially. So Turbaka, so he is being the quarterback. The pass, not going to get caught out. It's going to be intercepted yet again. Be passing back to the teammate, though. Over towards the goal, it's going to be Maddie who throws it Ooh. forward. It should go directly in the hands of Totoro, but he's going to look for the chase. Gets it and slaps it away as quick as he can. It's actually heading towards the other side. It's going to be chased down. And you let me down again. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 now I know how your father feels. <laughs> What's that? I said, I said, and now I know how his father feels. I didn't like that this just bounced out of my reach, god damn it. Starting in 15. I love it. See, that's the one thing I was looking forward to. I was watching back over the previous VODs when it was you and Blue. Uh, Blue. You and Blue. When it was you and Blue. Obviously, especially towards the finals with the more intense games that like meant an awful lot. You could hear the hype on yeah, every player on goal scored. That's what I'm looking forward to the more we see with this. Because obviously, everyone's quite quiet throughat the course of Echo Combat. It's much different playing online than playing like in an oh, event yeah. as well. Like, I think... Um, it's like Simeon lost his voice because he was screaming so much uh, from Eclipse. Here we go, though, 15 seconds left. Egg Boys need a three-pointer here. They're going for the shot. Ooh. It's going to ding off the rim, though, and that pretty much settles it as Team Gravity should be taking the 2-0 here in this match. Yeah. But Egg Boys losing is not a big deal. Hang on, Jason. Oh, maybe. They score five points. Oh, yeah, that's very true. I mean, it would have been the three-pointer. They would have had one second, you know. But they didn't have to control the disc on the, re on the regals. Yeah, but you never know. It swings around about.